Amy, my love, my partner, my best friend. Since the day you came into my life, <laughs> my life has drastically changed for the better. Your love for God and people is inspiring. It challenges me in the very best way. Your contagious smile is what hooked me since the first time I laid eyes on you. Oh, Amy, so beautiful. That is absolutely You're clothed fun. with strength and dignity and can laugh at the days to come. Just as the Proverbs 31 man says to his wife, many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. And so I will always praise you at the city gates. I vow to always honor you. I vow to ser always serve you, to cherish you, to endlessly pursue you, to fight for connection, and to always give you five more minutes. <laughs> Amazing David, he stopped by one evening early on when we were having a huge batch reunion and uh, with cousins, aunts and uncles, everybody was there, lots of people. And he walked in like he owned the place and like he lived it long forever. It was just amazing, David, to see how you get along with people and you can fit in and make people feel comfortable. My love for you, Amy, is not a reward for what you have done or a down payment for what I want you to do. It is mine, and I freely give it to you, unconditionally, covenantally, for all eternity. We feel blessed to have you in our big family. We are all here to support you and Amy in any way we can. And Amy, thank you for bringing David into our lives. We look forward to seeing your future together. How many of you, um, I won't have you all raise your hands, but how many of you have received an encouraging letter or prophetic word from Amy? I would say most of you in this room have. <laughs> I mean, heck, who writes prophetic words and encouragements for every single guest and puts it on the board over there? <laughs> so some of us call it Amy words inspired by the Holy Spirit. Yep. And David, I'm sure you already know this, but Amy lives a life of generosity with her time, finances, emotionally and physically. And not because she has to do good works, but because she knows the love of Jesus so deeply that she has to overflow. David, you coming into our life has brought so much joy. I honestly used to think, who would be good enough for Amy here? <laughs> Amy, you've come alive because of David. And David, I know that you love her and you honor her like Jesus loves the church. I'm grateful to do life with both of you guys. My prayer is that both of you grow in deeper connection with Jesus and connection with one another day by day and continue to be generous together as a family. And for our family and friends, if you don't have an Amy in your life, be the encouraging and generous one for others. Be generous like Amy. Then one day he picks me up and he says, ah, I'm talking to this girl. I was a little nervous, but I, I know David only surrounds himself with people that are like him and match his energy and stuff and love him. And uh, I meet her and uh, you know, she's not what I expected. She, she matches his energy and has a huge heart just like him and so I just, I was like, wow, I, there's like two like really big hearted, open people, bro models, like the most genuine people ever, like, and the, I, that I've ever met. 
David made that smile. Them two together blows my mind to see how happy they are together. Like, I look at my wife different now since seeing these two together. Just the way they, their, their aura just is like, I mean, that's the only way to explain it. It's like, you can't, I don't know. It's just, and it warms my heart. Guys, I love you. I love you. I'm in on cheesy note. Since you <laughs> pulled the last string and you're tying the knot, just remember, I'll always be your Buddha if you be my Buddha. And Amy, David, I'm very excited for both of you. And I think y'all know if you're standing up here that three minutes to five minutes is not enough to say all of the amazing things of how you've affected and changed our lives. People are coming up to you and wanting to tell you like, hey, we're so happy for you, we're so thankful for you. And they're like bubbling and bursting to tell y'all the amazing people that you are and how you've affected them. David, I want you to know what a treasure I think you are. And things I was seeing out of Amy, like her love for Jesus was just growing stronger and stronger by knowing you. Her passion for loving others was just growing deeper. And just, it was just this beautiful thing. And I was seeing that it wasn't just Amy being affected, but the people all around Amy, people I'd known for years. And that's when I was like, this is David's character. This is who he is. And what a man of God, what a wonderful man he is. And how excited it was for you to marry my best friend. David and Amy, based on your vows to the Lord, and to one another here before your family and friends, I pronounce you husband and wife. What God has brought together, let no one put asunder. David, you may kiss your bride. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Miss David Marceau. Eight years ago, I felt prompted by Holy Spirit to begin writing letters to my husband. And so I began. I wrote letters inconsistently to a faceless and nameless, consistent dream. Now that dream has become my favorite face to see, and he has a name that I deeply treasure. David, you are the love of my life. I choose you for the rest of our lives together. And these letters are my promise and commitment to you. 